Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe and hit the like button. I'm here with my friend Christian and today we're going to be reviewing things that we love about photographers and things that we don't love about photographers. So let's get into it. Side note, I'm not a model. I'm just like a photographer, ex-photographer, whatever. So he's going to have that perspective, and I'm going to have the model perspective. So we're going to be talking to both of you. So we're going to start with the things that we do like about photographers, just to keep it on a positive note first. I like made a list of everything I like about photographers and don't like necessarily when they do. Okay, I like when people like pose me or like help me pose because as a model, it is your job to know how to pose your body and put yourself in interesting positions, but also I feel like it is a two-way street. I only know how my body looks good generally, but it's up to the photographer. Tell me how it looks from their point of view and their angle. It's not necessarily their job, but it does help me to have some feedback so I don't feel like I'm just posing to a straight wall and it makes it more fun, interactive, and it usually gets me to like have facial expressions and just create some more dynamic photo. I completely agree with that and also like as a model or like a new upcoming model or whatever it is, like ask the photographer as well. Like if you don't know like your angles or like what looks good, ask them to help pose you pretty much is like what I'm saying and like also ask to look at the photos like when they're being taken or after they're being taken and fix your angle from there and you guys can like adjust hair or the suit, tags, whatever it is. Just like realize that as the model like you can also put in constructive criticism yeah. into like the shoot and like the vibe that's going on. Don't expect the photographer to like do everything for you. True. And it's something to practice. It's not always easy at first and it's not always super natural to just like tell someone how to pose or to just like ask someone. I don't know, but it works out. And then that brings us to our next one. You mentioned like uh, fixing tags and stuff like that. And I think it's always nice when someone is behind the lens and they notice like small details that they need to fix. Like, oh, your hair has a weird strand right there, you know, or your bikini tag is out. But one thing I would say that is just good to do. It's always good to ask the model if she's comfortable with you touching her because you might not be coming off in a weird, harmful way at all. You might, you're definitely just going to want to like help her, but then you don't know what she has experienced or how she feels about her personal space. And so just that question and giving her the option to invite you in to fix her. Triggers. Be aware of yeah. other people's triggers is basically the moral of that. Basically. Most photographers don't understand as well. Like when you're shooting different models, it's not always the same model with like the same I don't care attitude or the same please ask me type of vibe like you have to curate like what you're doing for that certain model especially if it's a new model like you have to work your way to get like comfortable with them but then once you open the door I'm always like yes like fix me like help help me you know and then you're like, -r 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 -r, like. <laughs> make the unknown known yeah another thing that we like I like when <laughs> photographers take videos because I feel like photos are just so simple to like click away but a video really makes it like a moment and like makes it like I and it helps just promo the photos in other ways. So videos are dope and they take like two seconds and I feel like the best photographers that I shoot with, they're like so on their shit, really just putting thought into a into like a scene so they'll like set up a scene, set up a pose, make sure that they get something that is like perfect compositionally just to the eye and then they'll get their digital camera and shoot the digitals and then they'll get their film camera and then shoot the same setting that they've like made perfect on the film camera and then take a video in the same spot so you get like three different looks in the same thing and then that's like how you really like iconicize a moment. Don't be fucking clicking away, okay, bitch? That shit is not cool. It's easy to just be like fast, like doo -doo -doo -doo, but then really putting time and intention into stuff is where I have seen the best photos come out. I second that. I love when someone retouches my photos. It's kind of a personal thing. I think it's best to talk about in person, like what you're gonna do, who's 
comfortable with retouching it if the photographer's okay with the model like fixing stuff that they personally don't want or want in the photo. I think it's like kind of really nice when a photographer retouches stuff. It's not necessary or expected, but it is how you would go above and beyond and be like an epic photographer. Because like taking out the small blemishes and the small little things overall just makes a photo look so clean. Be careful retouching on the bodies. I've been called out multiple times for photoshopping girls' bodies. Like definitely know the odd, like your crowd. Like back to what I was saying earlier, like some models like that stuff. Other models don't like that stuff. So that's where the communication is key. It's a collaboration. Like especially you models, like don't get mad at them for doing things. Like that's their art. Like don't make them insecure about their art. Just say, hey, like I'd appreciate if you didn't retouch that photo or let me do it type of thing. So now we're gonna move on quickly to things that we don't like when a photographer is doing this. It's a little noisy. There's like literally a monsoon and a airplane driving by right now. <laughs> things we don't love are, this is just a list now, I don't really categorize it like that. Okay, so if a girl doesn't like a photo, she should just be able to delete it, like no questions asked, just delete the photo, because it's her body, and if you don't want to, you know, get to the point where you have to delete something that you posted or something, then definitely ask her if she's okay with the photo before you spend all that time editing it. It's really, like, good if you think it's, like, risky or she might not be okay with it, just ask her. If it's not a banger knockout 10, 11, 15 out of 10 photo, then ask. And if it has any sort of like nips in it or stuff that might be provocative or risky, I feel like it's like not a huge problem, but then I have had a few things where it's like, okay, I would really like you to not post that, but overall I feel like it's been good recently and just listen to my and then that leads me to my next thing. Just, I love all the sexual content that is being created and the freedom and all that, but personally, I think it's more respectable when a photographer can take photos and not base it around the sexuality to find beauty. When they find the beauty and then it's like sexuality is like sprinkled in there and it's not the main element. And maybe that's just a stylistic choice that I prefer. But like an example of that is like when I get a bunch of good photos back from shooting with someone and then they post something that is just like really like risque that I probably wouldn't even post but there's a lot of other beautiful ones for the shock value of posting a risque photo of myself. I just... Because she would make money off of it on OnlyFans. Exactly. I just think it's kind of lazy, just creatively. I think you can do better and show someone's beauty without having to objectify them in sexualism. And it does make the model feel better when you can... When a photographer can find their beauty, that's not just their body. Capturing the vibe and the essence of somebody is totally different than capturing somebody's like sexiness. And, and they like, could be naked, people. and then they could feel it that you really capture their beauty, and it, it doesn't really... Tasteful nudes. It's kind of vague, this one. It's nice when someone can just see your beauty. Also, like, it's having this conversation photos. before the shoot as well, like, there are some people that do want, like, those types of photos of themselves, yeah, where true. it's like, I feel ugly, like, help me, like, feel hot. But then again, that just comes into, like, the communication before the shoot, during the shoot, and after the shoot that needs to be handled properly. And sometimes I have shoots where I'm, like, objectifying you, like, shoot of sexualizing you. I want to look like a hot snack right now. A whole ass meal, bitch. I'm more referencing when people will just like use the like sauciest stuff just because it's so saucy and it's like you don't even look the best in it. I'm just like. Make sure everything's on point, face and sex appeal. Don't just like rely yeah. on like somebody's body to be like. Thank you for finishing my sentence. <laughs> We're pretty much coming to an end. Don't get mad if they don't like your edits, I guess. Some people have different eyes. Some photographers like go all out with colors and like over vibrate it, vibrant it. <laughs> They vibrate that shit. Like over vibrant it or like super saturated and some people just like the simple, raw, untouched, unfiltered or like that no edit edit and I think you should be sending them your edits and the original photos if that makes sense. Just so that they have an option. And also as a model, you're gonna get an edit that you don't love every now and then and they're gonna want to post it and unless it really makes you uncomfortable in a way. You kind of have to be okay with them posting it because they took the time out of their day to come and meet up with you and sacrifice their shit, editing and whatever, so they, in a certain aspect, deserve to post what they enjoy because it was a collab, unless you've spoken prior and you're like paying them. <laughs> and we could do a video about just like basic modeling and how to do brand and photo and what our routines are. And how to pose, like you guys can come along with us for a shoot even, like, and see like how we create and stuff like that. We've only been doing it, only been doing it. Four years.
This is super just like brief. Don't talk about like love life or like sexy stuff. Keep it professional on a shoot because it can be a chill vibe. But then like I've had guys just talk about their love lives. So I'm like, okay, can we get back to me, me? and the photos, <laughs> please? Fuck your love life. <laughs> like, Go see a therapist. Yeah, I'm here to get to know your work. And we could be friends if we vibe, but that's going to come out naturally from like working together. <laughs> and also, like, as a photographer, like, don't go shoot if you have other things in the back of your mind. Like, don't bring those vibes into the shoot because then you're technically wasting your time creatively and the model's time. Like, don't do that. Like, just fucking give yourself some time and then go take photos when your headspace is right. Yeah. And even as a model, don't, like, push yourself to just, like, take photos for no reason, even though I, like, do that a lot. But, you know, like we were saying earlier, intention into stuff makes the best. Do things with a purpose. If you're shooting OnlyFans content and you're a model, bring your own fucking memory card, yeah? And have put it in their camera and take the memory card. They can look at you all sexy and stuff, but like, get the fucking memory card back. T, it's, yeah, I had someone offer that recently, Future Jerry, shout out to you. It was the first time I had someone offer it to me, and I was like, holy fuck, why, don't, why doesn't everybody do that? Bring your own memory card, OnlyFans girls. Get that bread. Trust the photographer. I'd say do like a test shoot first. Yeah. And then if they do offer shooting that type of content. And also you don't have to shoot with photographers. You're gonna shoot with your friends. I feel like exactly. I get a lot of like my amazing content from my homies because they see you in your best light. Mm -hmm. Also you can bring anyone with you to a shoot. And yes, you don't have to go alone. Do not say no to models bringing anybody to a shoot. Their boyfriends, friends, whatever it is. It's gonna I be more fun. Yeah. It's all about comfortability. It's a free assistant, if you fucking really think about it. You could be like, okay, make that. sure their fucking tags are tagged. I'm fucking lazy like that. So you can be like, make sure their tags tagged, make sure their hair's not in their face, and the fucking strand's not going all over the place. It's pretty much it. I don't know. I love when people gas me up and tell me I look good when I'm shooting. Careful what you say, though. Don't think about it first. Don't think too hard, though. <laughs> Just be like, oh, girl. I like, you know, hype them up. Hype them up like a best friend. I don't know about you fucking straight male photographers, though, but all my sisters know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you're a twink, we can't help you, but no, otherwise, take our advice. Okay, well, we are gonna go shoot now and use all these tips that we just talked about. This is fucking nerve wracking, like being in front of the guy. It's probably the coffee, though. Well, we're gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't uh, forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow. Miss Jelly Lauren and Miss Kelly Lauren. Kelly Lauren. Wait, what? Why did you say Jelly Lauren? It's just like, it's just. Follow both of them, bitch. Okay. Bye!